I want a divorce. I've decided to leave you and marry your younger sister, Caitlin. What? What are you mad at me for? Are you jealous because she took me from you? I'm sorry, but you've got to give up. I can't love a plain looking girl like you anymore. But don't worry, you don't have to leave me completely. I'm going to make you my housekeeper. You'll live with us and do all the housework. I'm giving you the honor by thinking highly of your cooking skills, aren't I? He is insane. My blood was boiling when I saw my husband laughing at me and neglecting my feelings like that. But I smiled back at him and said, That's a good idea. My name is Erin. I am a housewife and I live with my husband, Derek. How long are you going to take to style your hair? You're going to be late for work. I called out to my husband as he prepared himself in front of the bathroom mirror in the morning. Even though it's almost time for him to go to work, he's gazing at himself in the mirror. I look so cool today, as usual. It makes me speechless, but it happens every morning, so I've gotten used to it. My husband is certainly attractive, but he knows that himself, so he's a self absorbed narcissist. He was very popular before we got married, and he cheated on me a lot. You're my true love. You're my type, you know. I have forgiven him every time he said those nice words to me. I am too kind a person to disrespect a woman who has feelings for me. I even felt sorry for him when he said this in tears. Of course, I was anxious about marrying such a man, but I did not hate him, and above all, I was insecure about my plain looks and wanted to give myself a good image by marrying an attractive husband. Now, whenever my fellow housewives compliment my husband on his appearance, it makes me proud, and I realize how lucky I am to have married him. I am good at housework, and my husband especially appreciates my cooking skills, so we have a happy marriage. Since our marriage, it seems that the women around my husband disappeared. My mother in law, Lisa, whom I had heard rumors about being mean, has not made a target for me so far either. However, my peaceful daily life came to an abrupt end when I discovered something. It was when I was cleaning up my husband's room. What's this? Did he own a tie in this color? Since then, I've been discovering more and more things that I have never seen before. In addition to that, he has recently been working overtime and going on holidays a lot. How suspicious. I had a bad feeling. I decided to take a peek at his phone while my husband was sleeping. There, I saw the message he had received. I could see the traces of intimate exchanges with a woman. Without any hesitation, I requested an infidelity investigation to a private investigator. And a few days later, I learned the cruel truth. Ma'am, please try to stay calm as I tell you this. Your husband is having an affair. I was prepared for this, so it was rather a confirmation and I was able to stay calm. But when I saw the photo that he presented to me, my calmness vanished in an instant. I recognized the woman in the photo with her arms around my husband. The woman with whom he was having an affair was Caitlin, my one and only younger sister. I am three years older than Caitlin. She and I have almost identical looks, but otherwise we are complete opposites. She looks more glam because she has a more flamboyant taste than me. Unlike my passive and taciturn personality, she's quite open and very talkative. And because she is the type of person who can handle anything with ease, she looks down on me. However, she hates dull and steady work, so she is incapable of doing household chores. Even though we are such complete opposites, she had a habit of imitating me in everything and wanting what I have since we were children. It was the same in terms of love. When I was in high school, 
my sister took my boyfriend. When I found out, my sister laughed at me and had the audacity to tell me not taking it personally. My parents had taught me to be more patient with my sister as the older one, so I easily forgave her. Perhaps it was this attitude of mine that made her what she is today. Now she was taking my man, my husband for that matter. I was beyond angry. I was disgusted and despised her. And of course, the same goes for my husband. He told me he liked my face, so he settled with my sister who looks like me. When I thought about it, my feelings for my husband suddenly vanished. A few days later, I called my husband and sister into a cafe. What's up, Erin? What did you want to talk about? My husband was very blunt and wouldn't look at my sister's face. Sis, it's been a long time. My sister smiled at me without a trace of guilt. Oh, nothing has changed since then. I'm horrified, even though she's my own sister. I turned to my husband. You're cheating on me, aren't you? I didn't raise my voice or cry. Instead, I learned that people smile when they are really angry. My husband's face turned pale as he looked at me. Erin, I'm sorry. And then he confessed to having an affair with my sister, just like that. As I was getting ready to shout some words of abuse at him, he said in a strained voice, "I want a divorce." I've decided to leave you and marry Caitlyn. I couldn't believe what I had heard when he said that he was not only divorcing me, but also marrying my sister. I felt my blood boiling, and I wanted to leave as soon as possible. Okay, let's get a divorce. And without hesitation, I filled out the divorce papers that my husband presented to me. Thank you for understanding. So. I want to ask you a favor. I want you to be our housekeeper. What? Housekeeper? I couldn't believe what I had heard again. No way. I hope I misheard him. I'd hate to think that someone who was once my husband would be that insane. I can't just throw you away like that. From now on, I want you to live with us. As a housekeeper and do the housework, that way you won't have to leave me. That's a good idea, right? I mean, I've always admired your cooking skills. I was astonished that I hadn't misheard him. I was already stunned that my husband, or rather my ex-husband, still thought I didn't want to leave him. But the idea of making me their housekeeper was a tremendous shock. Though I am a woman whose only charm is my housekeeping skills, there is a limit to how you can make fun of a person. It makes me feel like a fool for having done all the housework for him. I was furious and out of words. As if to push me further, my sister said, "That's right, sis. Come live with us." She was smiling, but there was a nasty glimmer in her eyes. She is looking at me with a proud expression. I felt completely ridiculed, which made me even angrier. Why did I choose such a man? It was because of my own weakness. Because I was so weak, trying to make my humble self look as good as possible with a good-looking husband by my side. But I am not the kind of person who, despite my quiet nature, would just sit back and let them torture me. In fact, I am the type of person who hates to lose. And when I am beaten, I have to fight back. I don't want to be made a fool of forever. Revenge is the word that came to mind. That's right. Let's do more damage than just yelling at them here. Let's get back at them. Double, even triple the damage. As I decided to do so, I tried my best to smile and replied, "Well, that's a good idea, right? I'm glad you understand what I mean." My ex-husband nodded in satisfaction. 
I'll clean up the house so that you two can start living together right away. You can stay in Caitlyn's apartment for the time being. This proposal I made was, of course, part of the plan to get revenge on both of them. Yeah, okay. That's my housekeeper. You're so thoughtful. Thanks, sis! I scoffed in my heart at the happy couple, unaware that they were being played. You idiots, you see in no time. With no more regrets, I quickly filed the divorce papers and started to clean up the house. But of course, I wasn't cleaning up for my ex-husband and sister. The house that my ex-husband and I have been living in is in my name, so I decided to sell it off without notice. I have to get rid of all the furniture too. The first thing I did was to get rid of the most obstructive things, namely my ex-husband's belongings. My narcissistic ex-husband often enjoyed putting on fashion shows at night, so he has a large collection of clothes and shoes. I threw them all into the garbage bag with hatred without mercy. Oof, I feel so refreshed. As soon as the room was cleaned up, I started to feel better right away. At that moment, the doorbell rang. Coming! I opened the door, and there stood Lisa, my mother-in-law. Hello, Erin. I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd stop by. She was as blunt as ever, true to her reputation of being a mean woman. I'll make you some tea. Please make yourself at home. I respond with a friendly smile. My mother-in-law looks around the house suspiciously. I suppose it's not surprising given the piles of garbage bags. Erin, what on earth are you doing? When she asked me that, I told my mother-in-law the whole story of what had happened with my ex-husband. My mother-in-law listened with an exasperated look on her face, sighing from time to time. I'm sorry, Erin, for raising him to be such a man. No, it's not your fault. It's sad to hear that you've divorced. I was happy when he married a down-to-earth woman like you. I thought it would settle him down. So, even though many describe me as mean, I couldn't bring myself to attack you. I didn't expect that. I had no idea that my mother-in-law thought that way about me. Anyways, your sister is an asshole, isn't she? She's so different from you. I can't stop my son and your sister from getting together because they're both adults and made the decision to do so. But I do want to help you get your revenge. When I become her mother-in-law, I will strengthen her out. I'm hurting to have gained an unexpected ally. Thank you very much. And thanks to my mother-in-law's cooperation, we were able to smoothly finish everything from disposing the furniture to selling the house. A few days later, my ex-husband called me when I was already at my parents' house. We're officially married now. Is the house ready? I can't believe he would go to the trouble of telling me that so honestly. He's such an idiot asshole. But I'm glad he's an idiot. That's why he fell for my plan. Congratulations! I've cleaned up the house, so you're welcome to come. You should move in today. I couldn't help but say this in a cheerful voice. Later, I watched from hiding as my ex-husband and sister come happily to the front of the house. I watched them standing dumbfounded in front of the sign that read, Sold, with a smile on my face. What the... Sold? What is this? The two of them panicked at this unexpected event. Then I make an appearance, just as planned. You got played. My ex-husband and sister turned to me with surprised faces. Erin, what's going on? Explain what this is about. You were supposed to live in this house with us as our housekeeper. I replied condescendingly to my distraught ex-husband. You are such an idiot. How can I live such a disgusting life? 
You want me to be your housekeeper? Don't make fun of me. I don't want to see your faces ever again. Here in this, my ex-husband sighed and said, I see. You got jealous because Caitlin took me away from you. I'm sorry, but you've got to give up. I can't love a plain-looking girl like you anymore. How narcissistic can he be? My body reacted with goosebumps. I don't want you. I'm fine with being plain-looking. That's better than being a fool. I blessed her out, not to be outdone. Then my ex-husband started to shed some tears. How can you be so cruel? My ex-wife betrayed me and left me without a place to live. How pitiful. I have been sympathetic and even smitten by his tears. But now, I'm done with being such a convenient woman. Shut up. You're the one who betrayed me. Don't play the tragic hero. My ex-husband and my sister both flinched at my brazenness. From now on, if you need me, you'll have to go through my lawyer. I said those words and was ready to leave. Then, my ex-husband, in a fit of desperation, knocked down the soul sign and tried to enter the house. I don't believe this. This is my house. So, I advised my ex-husband in disgust. That house belongs to someone else now, and it's against the law to enter without permission. Shall I call the police for you? With that, my ex-husband left the house, wincing in frustration. My sister looked at me with the same frustrated look on her face. I turned my back on them both and left, laughing out loud. <laughs> the two of them then moved in with my ex-mother-in-law. I'm hoping that my ex-mother-in-law will give my sister a good thrashing. By the way, my parents disowned my sister, so she can't run to her parents anymore. And my ex-husband apparently decided to quit the company he worked for for a long time. I heard that the company found out that he remarried after having an affair with his ex-wife's sister, and he was looked at with disdain and had no place to stay. He is now spending his day working part-time jobs to pay the huge alimony I have demanded. My sister is the type of person who is lazy and hates to work, but of course I have demanded alimony from her as well, so she will have to do hard labor in the near future. It feels good to see my sister, who has always made fun of me, unhappy. But maybe I should be rather grateful to my sister for taking such a foolish man. I fell for that man because I wanted to look good. That is a point to look back on. From now on, I would like to lead a positive and appropriate life for me without being too vain.